what is going on. How are you doing today? <laughs> if you are wondering what's going on with my voice, my voice is shot. Because last night was NXT here in Birmingham, Alabama. And that is probably one of the best, greatest, most fun I've ever had at a wrestling event in probably all of my life. I mean, I've been to a lot of them, seeing a lot of the big stars and whatnot. But literally, if you watch NXT on the WWE Network and you see how they are at Full Sail, and what I will say this: we are not like Full Sail. Full Sail is a different; they're they're their own kind of thing. But what we had last night here in Birmingham, I will always remember that for the rest of my life. And like literally it was it was on fire from the time that we started all the way until the final person left. And it was just oh my god. And I'm so happy that I was actually able to be a part of that. I mean, just think about it. People like Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Roode, Samoa Joe, Austin Aries, um, Giant Wrestling or Giant Gargano, uh, Tomasa Chapa. I mean, there is so much. The Revival was there, Asuka was there, Billy Kay was there. I mean, there were so many good wrestling matches and uh, the crowd, they were in it. They were not just sitting on their hands. They weren't just, you know, being quiet. They were actually in it to win it. And they were making sure that they knew, that NXT knew that they need to come back. Last night, that was so much fun. Like literally, the the match with um, I wish I remember his name, but um, he faced um Buddy Murphy, and the people that were at Birmingham, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the same guy who um was the upset against Ty Dillinger. Um, but yeah, it was such a good match with that one. And everybody was chanting headlock master. <laughs> Because, you know, that's usually supposed to be something that Kevin Owens does. And it was literally a headlock match throughout the whole thing. And, um, but that was so good. Um, hopefully that might be his new thing. Maybe he might be the headlock king or the emperor of headlocks. <laughs> but that was a, that was a good match. The match of the night, tag team title match, the revival versus Gargano and Ciampa. I mean, that was literally everything that you got hope for. And I'm hoping they bring it out even more than um, what happened. That Then what's going to happen. I'm hoping what they do at TakeOver will be the exact same thing. Or even better than what happened tonight. Because tonight was a good match. Of course, it ended in disqualification. The Revival cheated and whatnot. But um, it was all good. Then, um, I mean, it was just such a good match. No Hey Jose, if you have never seen this guy up close and personal live, you need to. You need to make sure they find some way to see this guy because he's, number one, he is talented. Number two, he has so much charisma. And I can definitely see him doing big things in the company. He, yeah, he might have some kind of a gimmick. He might have the dancing gimmick, but literally he can put in the work. And he knows what he's doing. I was screaming so much last night. <laughs> and literally the chants were awesome. Birmingham, you made me proud. And you made me so happy. Like, this was such, such a good crowd. I was not expecting it to be as big of a crowd as, as it was. But y'all truly came out. And I, I read some tweets that some people were coming out from Birmingham. You know, not they don't live in here in Birmingham. They were coming from places like Huntsville or Anderson. Or I think I heard somebody was talking about they was from Mobile coming here, um, Huntsville. So, I mean, they was coming all over the state just to here. And Birmingham, the whole state of Alabama, y'all really, really, really impressed me. Because I wasn't expecting this. And y'all showed up with the numbers 
thank you so much for all that. Uh, I, I really don't know what else to say. And my tweet, my tweet was on the big screen, and I was very shocked and surprised to see that. So I was joking around just saying, Mama, I made it. I'm on the big screen. <laughs> uh, but just like Babaru, last night was glorious. <laughs> Which that, his, the whole glorious thing with Bobby Roode, I really feel that that fits him well. And he's playing it off so well. I mean, it's going to be, it's pretty much exactly like how uh, Ric Flair, this is like, the, I would say this is going to be kind of a new version, if you will, of Ric Flair. So, it, but he, he'll he get a lot of heat with just the whole glorious thing and then the whole entrance with the music and everything. He's going to get a lot of heat, but for his character, it's perfect. It's a perfect character for him. So that's it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. It was such a fun night. Birmingham, NXT, thank y'all so much for making a dream for me that I've been wanting for the longest actually happen. I greatly thank you so much. And hopefully this won't be the last time the NXT that comes around. Hopefully this won't be the last time that we see a crowd like this for a WWE event because we got SmackDown coming up in September and we need to make sure that we do the exact same thing for SmackDown. No matter if you think that it's an A team or B team or whatever, you got to make sure that you come out because stuff like this needs to happen all the time. So if you haven't got your tickets for SmackDown, I highly advise you to do that now. But um, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, if you was at NXT, if you even enjoy NXT, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're at NXT, let me know what you thought about it. And hopefully we will be able to have them back around here again sometime soon. But until the next time I talk to you, be safe, have fun. It's the weekend, so enjoy it. And I'll talk to you again fairly soon. NXT, NXT, NXT. <laughs> Bye.